doing up everybody? Como esta? How you doing? Welcome to another Epi Quack Tuts. Uh, I've been getting a shitload of requests out of nowhere for murder uh, type uh, ground bases. And I wanted to have that out today, but now I'm going to have it out Saturday instead. So instead today, I got a nice tasty base for you today. Gonna go with some Reese bases, similar to a Zed's Dead style Reese base, and it's gonna sound like this. Oh yeah, definitely got that Zed's Dead fucking signature, you know, Reese sound. Um, you can switch up this LFO, so instead of having it, uh, you like wobble, you can just have like a constant... Come on, asshole. There we go. So, you know, it depends on what kind of sound you want. So, yeah, I made it in serum, obviously, as you can see. Make pretty much everything in serum nowadays. It's good, but bad at the same time, but whatever. We're doing FM from B, but not really. I'll tell you what I mean by that. I have this macro set to the FM on uh, oscillator A. And right now, it's all the way off. With it on... I'm not feeling it too much. So pretty much this was just kind of reverse engineering another patch that I made. So it, that's why it has the FM. I'm going to include the download link just so you have ex exactly how I have it. Alright, no bullshit. Basic shapes on that bitch. Bring the octave up one. And we got our square wave. Because because that sounds... I think it sounds better than saw waves when it comes to Reese bases. I love that square wave sound. I'll, I'll cycle through some of these just so you can hear the different characteristic it gives. <laughs> I mean, clearly square wave is the way to go, at least for this sound, but, so yeah, we got a square wave. Unison's at 2, um, and our detune is at 0.22, the blend's at 75, phase is right in the middle at 180, and the randomness is all the way down. So we got, like I said, FM from B, and then bring the knob up 62%, but really, you don't need it. So yeah, pan in the middle, and your level's all the way down. Alright. So in case you don't know, I mean, this is... Pretty much how all re spaces are made, not all of them, but I mean, it's the basic technique, I guess. You have two different waveforms, usually it's like two saw waves, detuned to hell, shitload of distortion. Well, that's what we did, we just got a sine wave and a square instead of like two saw waves, so. But yeah, so oscillator B is our analog BD sign under analog, right there. Uh, octave is also up one, and the unison is at three. Detuned 0.28. Blend 75, phase in the middle, and the rams all the way down. So our wave table position is at 89, and the warp is on sync in the window. And it's at 9.33%. Pans in the middle, and your level's all the way down for that. All right, then. So uh, next, we got our filter. Uh, I just went through a few different ones. The Combs filter under miscellaneous sounded very nice. It makes it very gritty. Even kind of sounds like it's downsampled a bit, like it's giving kind of a bit, a bit crushing effect. So I thought this sounded really sick. So, so the cutoff for that is that 705 hertz oscillator A and B. They're going through filter uh, resonance, brought it up to 53 percent. Pan in the middle, drive, bring it up 39 percent. Filter variance 33 percent. Even though there's nothing here, it's still doing something. What is it doing exactly? Well, I don't really know, but. Sounded pretty cool, so I brought it up to 33%. Mix, 100%. So Alpha 1's doing pretty much all of our modulation. We got Alpha 2 here that's doing something, but it's not really audible. So uh, this is the shape you want to make. You know, it's going to start like this. So you're going to bring it down. Boom, boom. How you doing? How you doing? Something like that. I mean, it's a re-space. So it doesn't have to be exactly like that, but something close. So, triggers on, everything's clicked over here, and it's at one bar. And speed doesn't matter, you can make whatever the hell you want. So you can make that whatever you want, like I said. Alright, so then we got, so go ahead, bring Alpha 1 here to the warp, I'll A, drag it down, minus 71. Bring it to the uh, level. And drag it up 100. Then you're going to bring it to the sink, oscillate A, or to the warp, and drag it down minus 23, and then to the level again and drag it up 100. Go ahead and bring it to the cutoff, like you filter over here, and just drag it down minus 15. That's it. So, where we at here? 
We've got one, two, three, four, five. All right. FX section, there's kind of a lot going on here. First thing we got is a hyper dimension. I just brought the mix up, uh, 48%. That's it. Uh, distortion, diode one, nice and gritty, not using the filter. Mix, 100%. Drive, all the way down, but bring LFO one to that drive. Drag that shit all the way up. And it sounds actually really cool without the distortion also, so listen, check this out. I thought that sounds really cool also, so um, definitely save a copy of this patch without the distortion, so you got two different sounds that both sound pretty sick. Uh, reverb, I had this on, it was given kind of a cool effect, putting the reverb like before the EQ, the compressor, and all that shit. But I mean, eh, I don't know, you can copy that if you want. But uh, EQ, a little bit of EQ modulation, we just got a notch down here. And just a high pass with a high Q slope. Uh, so that's, make sure you click that right here. Uh, frequencies at 41 hertz. Go ahead, bring LFO 1. The frequency, drag up 47. Uh, the Q is at 57%. Don't worry about the gain, because you don't need it. It's not, it doesn't do anything with the high pass. Uh, Alright then, then we got our peak right here, our little notch. Frequencies at 4,444 hertz. Q, 54%. Bring the gain down, minus 18.4 dB. And then bring LFO1 over here to the frequency and drag it down, minus 35. All right. Compressor, multi-band on that bitch. Gain up 12.6 dB. And that's it. Then I got this delay here that I forgot I had on. We're not going for the robo bass, rhythm shit kind of feel, because the delay is a little bit longer than you would need for it to have that robo bass vibe. But we're not going for that. So you can, you can hear like one or two echoes after the sound, so that's what we're going for. So uh, that's on link, make sure that's clicked. BPM should not be clicked, just link. And we got 178.19 milliseconds with the left and the right. Feedback, 36%. We are using the filter, we don't want any of that low end. Or the extreme high end, just killing our ears. So uh, 2609 for the frequency in the Q 1.3. That's on normal, mix is at 38%. That's about it really. Then, like I said, I had this macro routed to macro or to uh, oscillator A to the warp, and I just dragged it all the way down, and I was just taking away all the FM because it definitely sounds best without it. So, but anyway, thanks for watching this up, you quack tuts. Murder Beast Saturday. I'll see you then.